Alright, so let's create a HUD in Unreal Engine 5. The first thing we gotta do is create the widget. So, right click and go User Interface, Widget Blueprint, User Widget, and call this BP underscore UI, or whatever you prefer. And then we want to open this up. Let me drag it over to this side. And in here, we want to search in this little search bar for canvas panel and drag this down here and then you see the canvas panel pop up and now for demonstration purposes what I'm going to do is find text just plain old text and add it in here in the middle just so we can see the actual HUD pop up when we add it so then I'm going to compile and save this, minimize this, and then we are going to go over to the world settings. And if you don't have the world settings tab right here, you can go right here and click it right here. Or if you're in Unreal Engine 4, you can go down here and click it right here underneath the window tab. So... Over here, you should have a game mode override, which should already have a game mode in it. But if it doesn't, you you just have to create one right here. And then that will allow you to create your HUD and everything else. So right here next to HUD class, the easiest way to do this is to click this little plus right here. And then you can select where you want it. I'm just going to put it in the content browser. And I'm going to call it BP Hour HUD, just for simple purposes. It should pop up, and then go to the event graph. You can remove begin overlap and event tick, like that. And off of begin play, what you want to do is search for create widget. And then drag off of owning player and do get owning pl get player controller right here. It, sometimes I mess up because I see it highlighted, but you want to do get player controller. And for the class, you want to find our BP UI we created. And now off of this return value, you want to right click, promote to variable. And call this UI underscore reference or something along those lines. This is just so we can have access to it elsewhere. You'll see in just a moment. And so off of UI reference, what we want to do is search for add to viewport. And this allows it to be displayed on the screen. So if we compile and save this. Then we click play, we should see our text block right there on the screen to the left. Just like that. And so now if you want to change, this is just like a, we got the HUD up and running. But if you want to change, say that text color, change it to a different color when we press spacebar or something, then we can do that simply by going not back into our HUD but to the third person character third person third person character and then look for jump right here alright so I'm just going to put this off of the jump so off of our jump what we want to do is right click and do cast to BP our HUD, not class, but just the actual object, like that. Connect this up, and then we want to do right click and do get player controller, and then drag off of this and do get HUD, and then drag this get HUD into the object right there. And now off of this as BPR hood, we can say get 
and I don't remember the name of the variable UI reference. So get UI reference right here. And then for the text over here in our UI, the color and opacity is white. So we can say color, uh, set color and opacity right here. Drag this, connect that up. And we could just leave it black if we wanted to, but let's make it like a red color, orange, orangey red color. So then you can compile and save, minimize this, hit play. And if we press space, as you can see, the color changes to orange. So yeah, it's a pretty easy tutorial. If you found it useful, leave a like and subscribe for more, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.